How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and continuing on with the series of videos we've been doing and that's comparing basic electrical components around your house. We've already done videos on residential versus commercial receptacles and also residential versus commercial light switches in addition to a few others that you can check out on our channel. But today we want to focus on toggle, so a basic toggle versus a rocker switch. These are more commonly known as Decora or Decorator series, and that is a trademark by one brand, Leviton, but it's pretty much industry standard, and most people would ask you, you know, do you want me to install standard or Decora series light switches? I wanna focus in three different areas, and most importantly, we're actually going to open these things up and look at the internals so you can get a little bit more of a feel, is there anything else internally that separates these two switches? Because from a price perspective, you're talking 50 cents, rounding a little bit, compared to $2, rounding a little bit. So there is a price difference. It's not gonna be major, but that does add up a bit on your project. So we'll look at the overall functionality of light switches. Is there anything advantage either way between a toggle and a rocker switch? Then we'll look at the design and build quality, really open that up and take a look. And finally, we'll look at more of a labor perspective. Is there any features that will help you in terms of installing these, whether you're doing it yourself DIY or you're hiring that out? So let's dive in and talk about the functionality and the feel of the switches. So quickly on the first part of functionality, there's not much to talk about, right? They're just light switches, so there's not too much going on here. One thing I'd look at is I do like to test out how quick or snappy the on position is because this is where the contacts are being made and you can see you just really have to start the toggle and it will it will close those contacts and, and turn on your switch so new this has nice snappy response in the on position the rocker is snappy but you do kind of need to force and close that it's not going to just spring to the on position so both out of the box new they have a quick closing response i would give a little advantage to the toggle because it wants to just close those contacts at least in new condition over time that might wear differently the only other thing i would say in terms of functionality is the rockers are nice if you have your hands full then you can, with an elbow, bump this and kind of turn it on if you have groceries in your hands or your kids in your hands. So it is nice to have these Decora or Rocker switches, which are more convenient if you have your hands full. Now let's jump in and open these guys up. So now that we have the switches open up, we'll go over the different parts. First up, you have these mount mounting brackets, which are actually called the yokes. Same material, pretty much the same gauge thickness. And overall, although the designs are quite a bit different, there's no like self-grounding straps on the bottom. It's not a different material that's more weather resistant. So I'd say that's pretty much a wash on the yokes. So now we got the internals and the contacts themselves. We got the toggle on the, your left-hand side and the rocker or decora series on the right-hand side. When it comes to switches and the materials, 
the best of my knowledge, without really knowing too much on the details, it looks to be the same materials. And why I just state that is, I don't think one is gonna discolor faster than the other. I know some people go with a light almond just to avoid white discoloring over time, and light almond will give you a little bit more leeway before that is noticeable. Now we talked about the toggle switch having a little bit more snappiness to it, so the on position. There is a spring in here which interacts with one of these lever arms and helps to give it that spring. And then if we look at the contacts overall, I was actually pretty surprised that the contact, it's actually square, if you can see that. Now the surface area looks to be the same as the rocker, but it is square and then that is where in the open, off position, right, we're open, and then it snaps back into the closed position. Now just default state without the top on, it wants to close, right? It wants to snap into that closed position, which would be the on position. Now I won't talk, the next one we'll dive into wiring and some of the advantages or disadvantages between the two, but that is what the context and internals look like for the standard toggle. Now, as expected, the design is quite a bit different with your rocker switch, and you actually have this contact, this kind of T-shaped contact that sits, I'm sure there's a proper name for this, but I'm gonna call it like a cradle. So it sits in that, and then this is, so you, you saw that it's very small travel. So that very small travel actually equals a lot of distance between the contacts. This would be on, where your contacts are closed, and that would be the off position. Kind of cool. And once you see the internals, it makes a lot more sense on the range of travel for the rocker that equals the on-off position. The other thing that I talk about is the failure modes with these rockers, which I have seen in the past, and let me know down in the comments what you guys have seen, but I have seen, if I can get this guy off, Yep, so I've seen the most common, I've had probably three rockers fail over the different homes and rental properties that I have. And that is literally the rocker breaking off. So whether it's this pivot tab here, or it's part of the housing here, that basically breaking off, this falling off, and then pretty much needing to swap out. I've seen that, I actually saw that in Lowe's, one of the display models, which if you have a store, make sure your display models are not already failed. That does not give confidence in your customers. So that's the most common failure. That is probably the weakest point of these rockers that I have seen. But again, let me know what you guys are, are seeing out there. Overall, 50 cents, $1.50. You're really you know, paying for the trendier, more in-design rocker but from an internal standpoint, although the design's very different, I wouldn't say one's superior necessarily gonna last much longer. But finally, let's, let's just talk about from like a labor perspective and wiring these up. All right, so looking at the toggle, you have your standard screw terminals, whoop, there goes the spring, standard screw terminals that you can wrap in the counterclockwise direction, or they have push pins. I do not recommend push pins, so I would really only entertain the screw terminals and making a shepherd's hook or a J hook around clockwise around the screws to wire up this switch. I think that takes a little bit longer. Now the rocker does have one more advantage, and that is it has what you find on kind of entry level commercial grade or spec grade components, and that is back wire. So it has the push pins. Again, do not recommend that. You could also do your shepherd hook or J hook, or what I like to do is use the back wire plates here. So you'll strip a straight piece of wire from your strip gauge here, insert that in, and then tighten this down, and then you'll have plenty of contact area between the switch and your wire coming in. And the back wire, I do think, saves you time, especially if you're a DIY kind of amateur like myself, where it takes you longer to kind of do that shepherd's hook and get everything lined up, make sure you're not pinching insulation or have any other issues. So I do like that part for the rocker switch compared to the toggle switch. 
So let's now bring it all together and, and do I think $2 is worth it for the rocker? And also talk about this fancy rocker. So before you guys take off, let me know what your preference is. Do you go with the cheaper toggles or do you spend a little extra money and go with rockers? My standpoint, I like the, I like the rockers. I think they're worth the money and I use them on most of my projects unless I'm just switching out one or two light switches and, and they already have the standard toggles, then in those cases, I'm just gonna use the toggles. But I'm interested to hear from what you guys say. Additionally, I will learn something. I always learn a ton from your guys' comments and I really appreciate that. And I will distill those down. So any comments, threads, especially big things that I miss, I will pin in a comment so you guys can see it right down below this video, you'll see that pinned comment and that comment will, will basically distill the hundreds or possibly even thousands sometime in the future comments down to key things that I might've missed that would be valuable for you to know. So don't forget to look at that pinned comments and, and add your comments too. I wanna hear your voice. Now, if you're interested in seeing a higher end commercial rocker switch and what that has to offer, check out this video right here where I dive into this monster. She is shiny. Now this thing is $10. It's made by Eden. This guy's $2, this guy's $10. You can get five to one here. You get five of these or one of these big boys. I'm curious, I don't know. What the heck justifies that price tag when it's really just a 20 amp so it can handle a little bit more amperage and it's the commercial grade. So what is internally, what is different maybe about the actual cover and is the rocker more durable? I don't know. So I'm gonna dive in and that video is right here for you guys to check out if you're interested. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.